I usually wake up at around 8 to 9 a.m. in the morning. Today I'm waking up at 8. So I like to work late nights as well from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. in the morning. That's where I'm the most productive. I don't have any distractions. Everything is shut down. Everyone is sleeping. So I can just focus on doing work. The first thing that I do in the morning is to have some light breakfast before doing the first coding session. So I also try to just get up in the morning just to be able to put in as many hours as possible and try to distribute it over the whole day. So I can work in different chunks, I can code in the morning, I can have a small break, go for some walks, have a lunch, and then I can work again in the afternoon before my late night session at the end of the day. So throughout the day, I'm pretty much just working on my full time position early in the morning, afternoon, and also sometimes in the evening if I have some work to do. So this is pretty much where I spend most of my day. I have all my monitors connected. I'm mainly using a MacBook for pretty much like 80% of my work. And then I switch my Windows or Linux computer if I really have to, but I really like to work on my MacBook. It just works. I can plug it in, plug it out, go to a cafe, go for a walk, basically just like move around both in the apartment, but also just go to some different places where I can work from. I'm working from home, pretty much working every single waking hour the whole day. So it's nice to go outside. Also just change your environment to refresh your brain and recharge the batteries. So I'm an engineer, so of course I'm having a lot of coffees throughout the day as well. I also just like to have some instant coffee just to get going, make a quick cup of coffee and then I can probably like get another coffee, get one delivered or like go out for a coffee later in the afternoon. I probably do that a couple of times a week and then bring my computer so I can do some work out there, basically just change up my environment and reset. In the afternoons and evenings, I work on my own business, my YouTube courses. I also have an AI career program where I teach people how to build an AI career and start scaling, doing freelance work, basically just my whole system and all my experiences, scaling a freelance business from $30 an hour to $250 per hour. So I'm basically just giving my systems to other people, teaching them how to set them up so they can get a lot of advantages, both financial freedom and location freedom. I normally don't work for more than two to three hours in a row because I just can't focus that long. I have to get out there, change the environment, go for a walk. I try to be focused for two to three hours and then I have to get out there for 20, 30 minutes before I'm going back to work again. So just try to be as efficient, as productive as possible when I'm actually working. And then I reset the batteries, recharge because I have a lot of work to do. Like sometimes I'm working 14 16 hours every single day for a whole week so this is really important for me basically just try to get out there move my body as much as possible and also distribute that over the whole day so normally i go for a walk in the morning with my dog also sometimes in the afternoon and then in the evenings i usually have my gym sessions or playing paddle tennis
So one of the principles that I try to follow is to structure my work around my life and not the other way around, which a lot of people are doing. So they actually just have their work and then they structure their life around the work. And I try to do the opposite of that. I put in the work, try to grind as much as possible, try to develop myself in every possible way and try to improve every single day as well. So this is my go-to place if I go out for a coffee. I really like the Starbucks. There's always a lot of seating, not too many people. I can sit there, focus, concentrate on the work that I'm doing. So when I go out for a coffee, I try to do my writing work and also my research. So that could be writing emails, writing LinkedIn posts, and also preparing for videos, researching new topics and so on. So I really like to do that. And it is still some kind of a break in the middle of the day. So I don't just sit at home coding for 10 hours a day. I spend a lot of time on investing as well. I've done that for several years and I really like that. I like to follow the market, different companies that I believe in and I really understand the tech. So I'm mainly investing in companies where I really understand the tech down to a low level. I invest in those companies because then I can hold it for multiple years. I'm only making investments for four five to 10 years. I'm also doing some swing trading here and there, some day trading, but that is just more for fun. When I just want to take a break, do something cool because I really like investments, following companies. I like scaling companies and just investing in general. So I'm back home again now. I'm doing some trading when the market's open, just following how does the stock perform and so on. I don't follow my portfolio every single day, but I just really enjoy following the companies and so on. So I do check in pretty often. I also do some day trading mainly when the market's opens because then there's more momentum and volatility in the stocks. Then I can trade for 30 minutes, put it away again, and I can get back to work. I don't have to sit there the whole day, focus, worry about my stocks, how it's performing and so on. I do the trading put it away, get back to work, and then I'll let compound interest take over for my investments and we're back to work. So after a few hours of coding again, before I'm having dinner, I usually go to the gym, also sometimes after, or if I play paddle late in the evening. Today we're running to the gym, I usually do that if the weather is good, or then I'll do some cardio to start out with. I try to go to the gym four to five times every single week, sometimes also more because I just like to get out there, recharge my battery. Sometimes it is not even draining to go to the gym. I get energy from it. Like let's say that you have been sitting coding for 10 hours straight. If I go to the gym, I'm then able to go in, work a couple more hours when I get home and also late in the evening, where if I didn't go to the gym, I would just be totally exhausted after a full day. I'll just end up at the couch. I'll not be doing any meaningful stuff and work that I need to do. So today we're going out to have some dinner at a local place. This is a pretty nice food court where there's a bunch of different foods, very nice vintage style, like pretty old school. There's also like a good feeling when you come here, bunch of different food trucks. So this is the go-to place when I'm eating out. After gym and dinner, I get home again, do some coding in the evening before heading to bed. Today I was also playing a bit of Counter-Strike. I usually did that a lot when I was younger, when I was going to university, I played a lot of Counter-Strike. It was pretty much four to five hours every single day before I started my business, my YouTube and so on. And that just caught my interest. I was spending all the time on that. I tried to do some gaming here and there because I really enjoy it. But sometimes it is only like one to two times every month. After the gaming session, I'm heading directly to bed. So we're ready for a new day. Thank you. 